guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to talk about something that I think all of us nerds could really use right now. Uh, how to prepare for the return of Comic Cons. So next week I am going to be heading to San Antonio, Texas to go to Celebrity Fan Fest. Um, I've never been to a Celebrity Fan Fest before, but I have been to several other fan conventions or Comic Con. So I have a little bit of experience in this and I'm gonna be preparing, so I just thought I could try to help some of you guys out and maybe give you some tips and help you to prepare as well because preparation is key. Um, these Comic Cons, and especially if you're going to meet celebrities, can be very intimidating. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that today and kind of maybe give you guys some tips if you're wanting to know what to expect. So once you're there, you Actually, let's rewind a little bit. Let's talk about what you're gonna bring and what you're gonna wear. So you're gonna be doing a lot of standing in line. So wear comfortable shoes. And that's different for some people. Some people, there are women out there that can get away with wearing heels all day. I personally cannot. Um, I can't even wear sandals all day if I'm doing a lot of walking. So I'm gonna wear tennis shoes. But you know yourself, just wear shoes that you know you'll be comfortable in standing in line all day. Also, prepare ahead of time by going to the website for the con and finding out what their rules are. You want to know the rules of things that you can bring with you and things that you cannot. Uh, I've gone out and looked at the rules for Celebrity Fan Fest a little bit. Uh, I know you can't bring in large bags. Um, I think it has to be like a drawstring bag or something small. Uh, there's rules about the cameras. You can't usually bring in big cameras and that's no different here. So. Uh, know what kind of cameras are fine to bring and what kind are not. You also can't bring in uh, selfie sticks or tripods. So just make sure that everything that you're taking with you is okay to take with you. Your bag's the right size. Um, make sure you're good to go. Some places also have rules on food and drink. So make sure that if that's the case that you don't take anything in that you aren't allowed to take in. Otherwise, you might have to give it up or take it back to the car and you don't want to have to do that. You really need to be prepared for photo ops going in because you don't get a lot of time. So what do you want to wear for your photo op? The best thing to wear is something that you feel like you look your best in. Whether that means you are in cosplay, whether that means you are dressed up nicely and just want to look good in your photo, or whether that means you're wearing a nerdy t-shirt that is all about the star that you're there to see. Whatever you are comfortable in and whatever you feel you look your best in, that is probably the best thing for you to wear because that's gonna make you the most comfortable and that's how you wanna be. So when you're waiting in line for your photo op, you're gonna be nervous. I'm trying to tell you what to expect so that you have a little one up while you're standing there. So before you get in there, you're gonna be standing in line and then you're usually gonna come up to a table or something before you get into the booth with the celebrity and you'll have an opportunity to put some things down. So you wanna put your bag down. Um, a big thing that I like to do is if you have a badge that you're wearing for the con, I take that off. I don't really want the badge in the picture. So make sure to take that off if you don't want it in the picture. So what do you want your photo to look like? Do you want a hug from the celebrity? Do you wanna just be standing there next to them? Do you want a pose? So here's the thing with poses, keep this in mind. Some celebrities do not like to do them. Some cons do not like to allow them because they can take up time and make the line go slower. So if you do have an idea for a pose, make sure it is something quick and easy and very easily explained. If you can, take your cell phone in with you with a picture of the pose you want. But, <laughs> Make sure you get your cell phone back out of the picture before it's taken. Hide it behind your back or, you know, somewhere that it's not going to be seen in the picture. And also, be prepared for them to say no because quite often that is what happens. I mean, sometimes celebrities just don't like poses or the con doesn't allow them and you won't get that pose. So prepare for disappointment. Just be okay with it. Be, pre be prepared for that to happen and be prepared to just stand next to them and just look like your friends. That's okay too, those photos turn out well. Some of my favorite photos are just standing next to the celebrity. That's okay. 
Also, another tip that I would say is please, please don't do anything too cringy. And that scale is completely up to you. I have seen some pictures out there that some people have done in these photo ops that to me are just like, eh, yikes, that's not what I want that celebrity to remember me for. And that's not the picture that I really want to look back on years from now. Um, but that's up to you. Your comfort level, how comfortable you think the celebrity might be with the pose that you want. Just be smart about it. Also, hugs are usually okay. Some celebrities may not be okay with them. And honestly, just expect it. Be prepared for what you want. Have an idea, an easy idea in mind that you can easily ask for and be brave about it. And also expect to not get it because you don't really know. And be okay with that. That's okay too. It's still gonna be a good picture and you still got to meet one of your favorite celebrities. So also, here's what happens. You will get in line, you will get up to that table. You will put everything that you don't want in the picture down on that table. You'll stand next to the celebrity. You'll ask them, hey, can we do this pose? They'll say yes, they'll say no, you don't know. And then the picture is taken. And then you'll basically be told to get out. That is all that happens. It is a matter of maybe 30 seconds. Do not expect to have a conversation because you won't. You might be able to say hi. You might be able to say have a good day. That's about it. That and asking for your pose or your hug or whatever is all you're going to have time for. Expect to be rushed because that is what happens. They sell lots of photo ops. There are lots of other people there to get these pictures and they want you in and out and that is it. Photo ops are not the time to have a conversation or try to have a conversation with the celebrity. Know what you're gonna wear, know what you're gonna say, know what you're gonna ask for, and be prepared to not get it. Get in there, get out. It's all done. It's not that hard. It is it is a little intimidating, I will admit, but if you're prepared, that is the way your picture is going to turn out to be awesome. All right, next, let's talk about autographs. If you bought some autographs, much like photo ops, it's good to be prepared. So. This includes a little bit more thought. You do usually get a tiny bit more time with a celebrity than you will in a photo op. First thing you wanna know, what item are you going to have signed? Obviously, you wanna take that in with you. You wanna be prepared, have it out, have it ready. You don't wanna take up their time. You don't wanna annoy them. You don't wanna be remembered for that. So, you know what you're gonna get signed. Do you want them to just sign it or do you want it personalized? Sometimes at these cons, you can't get it personalized. Sometimes they'll have rules against that because they don't wanna take the extra time for everybody to get their signed item signed just to them. So it may not be an option, expect that, that's okay. Also, what color do you want it signed in? You might want it signed in a certain color. So I'm gonna show off kind of my pride and joy here. So this is my Star Wars poster. It's signed by quite a few different uh, people from Star Wars, some of the bigger stars. And as you can see, they've all signed it in certain places next to their characters, all in silver. So you want to be prepared. If you can, get your own Sharpie. Bring your own Sharpie. Bring it in the color you want. If you want it signed in silver, if you want it signed in gold, black, blue, bring your own Sharpie because you never know what they might or might not have available. So be prepared on that front. Also, where do you want it signed? Do you want it signed next to the character? Um, they will ask you that, so make sure you have an answer. Also, like I said, you usually get a little bit of extra time than more so than you do with photo ops. So while you're there, while they're signing, you usually have time to either ask them one quick question or to tell them something that you want them to know. So this is your opportunity to have a 10 second conversation with your favorite celebrity. So again, be prepared, know what you wanna say. You'll also be waiting in line. You'll be waiting in line a lot. It's a Comic-Con, that's just kinda how it goes. So those are probably my best tips for you. I think everything else uh, is pretty standard. Most people know how to travel. Most people know if you're going to some kind of convention. There will be a lot of people. It will be intimidating. You will have to wait in a lot of lines. But just to kinda sum it up, so my best tips, if I had to narrow it down, expect to wait in line a lot. Know what you can and can't bring into the convention center or wherever the con is being held. And know what you want out of your photos and autographs. Know what you want them to look like. Know what item you want signed. Know what pose you might want. And also expect not to get it. 
just be prepared. That's simple as that. I can't emphasize enough the tips that you can get just from going out to the con website. There's usually a schedule. There is usually some tips, um, what you can and can't do, frequently asked questions. You're going to have the best con experience if you are prepared. So good luck out there. Uh, I hope to see all of you at a con someday soon.